sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I bring you a special NBA video. Uh, I covered this topic a few days ago with has social media, especially Twitter, killed sports. And 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 directly, almost 48 hours after I do that video, we have a Twitter beef already. Last night we saw Matt Barnes go in on uh, basically his own teammates. He didn't specifically say Blake Griffin, Chris Paul, DeAndre Jordan, or anyone, but he was tired of defending these N words. You know, it's only costing him money. That's one example. But the biggest example right now is the Detroit Pistons guard Brandon Jennings, who called out J.R. Smith's little brother. Chris Smith of the New York Knicks, who barely made the roster of the New York Knicks, but is in the NBA, possibly that last roster spot that they had. And you're looking at some of the tweets that Brandon Jennings retweeted. And he throws shade directly at the little brother, basically, of J.R. Smith and calls out two other guys that should be in the NBA, but they're not in the NBA. And, you know, J.R. Smith is extremely volatile. He is extremely emotional as a man. And if you go at his family, if you go at his teammates, he's going to come out of pocket for you. And they're going back and forth, basically. J.R. Smith has really, literally took it to the street on Twitter and and basically put it out there. If you can't be a man about it, man up, say what you got to say, and don't delete your tweets, things like that. Brandon Jennings has yet to respond, but he threw shade at Chris Smith. Chris Smith has responded in a remarkable way. He's basically come out and said, hey, you can switch your style up, and if they hate, then let them hate. I watch the money pile up, and he told everybody to have a blessed day. So it's so many things that social media is going to get people in trouble. I hope this does not lead to a physical confrontation of any sort or any violence of any sort. But J.R. Smith does have a history of doing things like that. But I trust that that his brother Chris Smith will talk to him and talk to him and let him know, hey, he can say what he wants, but at the end of the day, we're all in the NBA. So you can't really knock one NBA player for being in the NBA and not question. Who questioned it? So, um, again, it's a crazy thing. They're both all young guys in this situation. Brandon Jennings, I think, needs to stay in his lane and worry about the Detroit Pistons just winning consistent basketball games throughout the season. And and the New York Knicks, in their situation, need to get back on track. And Chris Smith, uh, uh, kudos out to you for doing what you needed to do to really – be the bigger man in this situation. Do what you had to do. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you feel like J.R. Smith was wrong for, for tweeting and, and defending his brother and threatening? Uh, basically, Brandon Jennings of the Detroit Pistons. Or do you feel like Brandon Jennings has a point? Do you feel like Chris Smith shouldn't be in the NBA and other people should have that possible spot? Let me know what you guys think. Check us out at JustMyPicks.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at JustMyPicksTV. Also, check out my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Thank you very much for subscribing. Please share my content on the internet. Thank you very much and have a great day.